I'm Anil Kumar. Here is another integration question on trigonometric functions. We need to find integral 1 over 1 minus cos x dx, right? So that's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, in such cases, we could do rationalization. So we'll use the rationalization technique to solve this question. So rationalization means that we'll multiply and divide by the conjugate of this denominator. So what we have here is 1 minus cos x will multiply and divide by 1 plus cos x. 1 plus cos x. So in solving trigonometric integrals, most of the time, we are working like you used to work for identities. You need to simplify, write in simpler terms, and then we might be in a position to get the integral of the function, right? So, so it could be written as 1 plus cos x over 1 minus cos square x, right? Now, 1 minus cos square x is sine square x, correct? So we can write this as 1 plus cos x over sine square x dx. Now this could be written as 1 over sine square x plus cos x over sine square x. Now that is a standard form from the table you can find integral of these, right? So let me take them on the right side. So 1 over sine square x is so we are finding the integral for 1 over sine square x, which is cosecant square x, right? Cosecant square x. Uh, let me write brackets here since I didn't write dx. Okay. dx plus integral of cos x over sine x is cot x. And then 1 over sine x is cosecant x. So we could write this as, or let me write first as 1 over sine x times cos x over sin x. Is that okay? dx. So that gives you integral of this is minus cot x plus 1 over sin x is cosecant x. That is cot x. So the integral is minus cosecant x plus c, right? So that's what you get. So our answer is minus cot x minus cosecant x plus c. So that is how you can actually uh, find the solutions for such things. Right? This is cosecant x times cot x. So I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.